It's not every day you find a cocktail that uses citrus peels, but not citrus juice. I'm Brian Johnson. In this episode of Better Cocktails at Home, we're making the Deschler cocktail. Now, when I first came across this cocktail in a, in a book, it really caught my eye because you actually add citrus peel to the glass you mix it in and mix the cocktail with citrus peels in it. And it's not something that you see all that often with cocktails. So it kind of caught my eye. I mixed it up and I really loved it. It could be because I really love rye-based cocktails, but everybody should love rye-based cocktails. So I think it makes sense. And that's what we're going to make tonight. So to start with, I like to do the citrus peel first, actually. So I get the oils in there, kind of gets in the bottom of it. And so we'll take a lemon peel and then just express the oil over the top into your mixing glass and then drop the peel in. Same with the orange peel. And then do the same thing, just express the oil, drop it in. Now we're gonna add our liquid ingredients. So we're gonna start with one and a half ounces of rye whiskey. In this case, I'm using Rittenhouse rye whiskey, and I really like Rittenhouse. I think it's it's got great flavor, great price point. Um, it's not that difficult to find. Sometimes it seems like it comes and goes. Um, so usually if I see a bottle, I'll pick it up because I go through it pretty quickly because it is really delicious. So we're gonna use an ounce and a half of rye whiskey. Let me add that to our mixing glass. And then we're going to use one ounce of Dubonnet Rouge. Now Dubonnet Rouge is a fortified wine. And what it is, I've, I've read that, or I've heard that the, there's a European version that they make that's actually different than the Dubonnet Rouge that we can get in the United States. And I've heard that it's a better product. I don't know, I've never tried it, but this is what we have to work with, so that's what we're gonna work with. And we use one ounce of Dubonnet Rouge. We add that to our mixing glass. Now it also calls for a quarter ounce of Cointreau. Um, it's orange liqueur, great product. And we do a quarter ounce of this. Now I like to be pretty precise with this because I think if you over pour it all, you're gonna get it too sweet. So you wanna be pretty precise. And that's why we measure it, because we wanna be precise. And the final ingredient is Peychaud's bitters. Now, I'm gonna do about two dashes of Peychaud's bitters. Don't be afraid. And that's everything that goes in this cocktail. Now, because all of our ingredients are clear, we're going to stir this cocktail with ice. Make sure you use lots of ice. I'm going to stir about 20 seconds. You get it nice and cold and get the dilution from the ice because you need the water. It's an essential part of any cocktail. That should do it. And then once you're done, you're gonna strain it into your cocktail glass. And then I'll do just an orange peel garnish over the top. Um, not, not a big one because it's already got quite a bit of orange oil from the, the previous orange peel. Um, just a touch, then around the rim, and then drop it in. I, I love this cocktail. Um, 
This one was what I found and I made it. I was like, this is delicious. Strangely enough, I've never seen it on a cocktail menu to a bar I've actually visited. Uh, I'm not sure why, because I, I think it is one of the better rye and Dubonnet cocktails out there. And it's really not that hard to make. So I'd love to see it on some menus. My question is, why do you think the Destra cocktail got its name? I'm pretty sure I know because I've read it some places, but I want to know what you think. But that's how you make the Destra cocktail.